Hi everybody, I hope you are as excited as I am today to have this recording with you. My screen looks so beautiful. Can you see that? <laughs> so um, today I am going to be taking us around um, setting or removing expiration from a Teams meeting recording. So because of the limitation of storage space, administrators tend to set an expiration on the meeting recordings of users um, from the admin center. So I'm just going to first of all take you there to see where that is done. So I will just come to my tenant where I want us to do that. So if you type in cmd.ms, so as an administrator, this is where you want to set the expiration on the meeting recordings for end users so the focus of this call or this recording is going to teach you how you as an end user can decide to remove expiration from a particular recording that an admin has set expiration on so get it right the policy is going to be applied to everyone including you and all meetings but if you want to exclude expiration policy from acting on a particular content of your um, your OneDrive which is a meeting recording of course you can remove that manually so I just want to first of all show you where or how to um, set the um, expiration on the meeting recordings of a you of users in your organization so you have that inside meeting policy so you can decide to you know have that recording expiration policy applied to everyone in your organization or you can decide to have some users that you want this policy to act on so i'm talking about situation where a policy captured your own one drive storage so if policy capture your own OneDrive storage, but there are particular or there is a particular meeting recording that you want to make sure that is excluded from expiration, you can do that from the end user side. I'm just trying to authenticate and I think I'm having some issues with that for multiple authentication, but I'm sure that we'll be able to overcome that. So this is me coming into the teams administrative center so how do you get to the teams administrative center you can do that by doing admin.microsoft.com or you can come through the cmd.ms like we did here and we clicked on teams so we are going to this time is to the meeting recording i mean the meeting policies so if you come to meeting policies here so meetings the meeting policies then you are going to see where you are going to see where the global policy is for example and the global policy has meeting expiration set to certain number of days so if you scroll down here then you're going to see that the default expiration of meeting policy is set to 120 days so the reason why this is done is just so the recording the meeting recordings in users OneDrive don't just get stuck there without you know proper cleanup because research have shown that after the first month most time people don't go back to their meeting recordings so this you may want to use this particular you know policy to control so you can decide to reduce the number of days to say that should even expire as as early as after one day so you can set as early as one day and as high as um one two three four five nine so you can call this number yourself so what i'm trying to even show you is you can do that right but of course you can turn on expiration you can turn off expiration policy so if you do this so what it means is that the meeting recordings are never going to expire they're just going to be there on the user's one drive right but this was set on this tenant to show that okay meeting recordings should expire after 120 days so now this is what the admin has set by default and you have a meeting recording that you want to stop from expiration so how do you do that so if you come here to office.com for instance so i just want to get to my onedrive and there is a folder in my onedrive where my meeting recordings are being saved that is if the recording is done from if the meeting recording is done from um, if meeting is scheduled from calendar i meant to say so the recordings are saved to 
their users one drive folder right why the meeting schedule from teams um, <coughs> channels are saved in the that's saved in the corresponding sharepoint site so that said so i just want to show you now if you come here so you see these nine dots here i have counted it they are nine so if i click on the nine dots and i click on one drive so it will bring me to my one drive storage space if i come to my files and then i will see here this is a default folder called recordings so if i come here i have done some quite of recordings i have done sharepoint training or sharepoint the four sharepoint training the three and so on right i've been teaching on sharepoint all this while right so uh <clears throat> so if i come here now this is the meeting recording that i don't want to have it expired i want to just remove the expiration so what i will do is i will click on this recording and then it op opens for me here so at this point where it is opened so if this is fully loaded now i'm going to see something here showing that expiration is remaining 107 days so this countdown is counting from what from the 120 days expiration that was set on this user account from the teams meeting policy assigned to the global policy in this day and and this policy applies to me who scheduled this meeting and who also recorded it i hope this is clear so what you can do is that it, if you put your cursor here to tell you that this video will expire on june 6th 2025 and be deleted at that time so if i do this so what i would do is i can decide to extend it by 60 days i can decide to select a particular date that i want this meeting recording to expire remember at this point i am not working as an administrator but i am working now as an end user okay so i can decide to remove expiration entirely so if i do this now it will say this meeting is not going to expire i think if a retention label is applied anyway this recording may still be deleted in the future but i must tell you that retention label is not applied yet to delete my file automatically no retention policies here right so what is going to happen is that this meeting is still going to re going to remain like this because i have by myself remove the expiration policy so in the absence of retention label or retention policy in the tenants i can be i can remove my eyes from this and be sure that any day i come to look for my recording i am still going to see it here without it having that countdown so that means if i come to another recording that was done some days before teach me cloud um, project 2024 so if i click on this now it means that this is going to be now dependent on when this recording was done and i feel this was a very like last week this was done here so this is going to have more days 114 so this countdown is based off on when the meeting was recorded counting down from the 120 days that was set by the admin on the user i hope you will find this useful i hope you want to check up the recording folder on your OneDrive. i hope you want to go and check some videos that you don't want to ex you don't want to automatically delete it or get deleted when the expiration date has come based on the policy assigned to your user i hope you find this useful also if you do please hit on the like button and if you've not subscribed to this channel kindly hit on the subscribe button thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your weekend peace